One other thing everyone is looking forward to, Beer Month. It officially kicks off this Saturday. And you know how much West Michigan just loves craft beer. Here to give us more details about everything going on over the next four weeks are John and Jameson from Perrin Brewing Company and Stephanie from Experience GR. You know, in times like this where it's cold and it can be a little bit up and down, beer month is something to look forward to. Tell us about it. Absolutely. So it's our fourth annual Beer Month GR and we're really excited about it. It gives us a chance to really celebrate the award-winning craft beer scene that we have in West Michigan. Yeah, you know, it really gives people a reason to come out and check out food, great craft beer, and music. There's a big music focus this year. Yeah, so this year we have Sounds of Beer City, which is really exciting. What pairs better with beer than some live music? Of course. We have over 40 live music events on our events calendar right now for Beer Month, which is really exciting, including some that are going to be happening at Parent. Yeah. Okay, we're so glad the folks from Parent could join us because you throw some really great festivals there. You are perfect in your location in Comstock Park to do that. And so, John, what's coming up? Uh, next Friday, we're having a, a little beer fest on, on Friday. It's going from 5 to 9. We're going to have 31 different beers, 18 of them. This first time will be launched for the festival. So That's a lot of beer at one night. It is. It's, uh, we, the brewers got to play around on the pilot system, have fun, and create a bunch of different styles for people to kind of experience a festive atmosphere right at the brewery. Yeah, and that's great. Of course, that is taking place on Friday the 21st. It kind of precedes the big uh, beer fest, winter beer festival that's taking place at Fifth Third Ballpark. Correct, on Saturday. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so... We want to talk with you, Chef Jameson, yeah. too, because, you know, part of the creativity of uh, Beer Month is having great pairings and events and opportunities to come out and experience food along with beer because we know we love that combination. Mm -hmm. You are doing some special things with the menu. You have a couple features at Pier and people may want to check out. Yeah, so for this month, we are featuring a banh mi. It's a pulled pork banh mi, and we're going to be pairing that with our gold ale. We also have a vegan wild mushroom stew that that is going to be paired with the Lil Grizz brown ale that we have going. So we have a lot of specials going on every week that we also put up that we have pairings for, and that changes week to week. You so know, Historically, people have taken wine dinners and pairings. We now see lots of that happening at area breweries and restaurants. You know, when you were putting something together, how do you decide uh, what beer really accents some of the different food that you can create? Um, it's just balancing. Sometimes I'll take into account like if the beer is kind of considered almost part of the dish. If it's mm -hmm. going to pick up somewhere where it's lacking. And you throw in them it. into the dish too, don't you? That too. That <laughs> okay. was a uh, thing that we're doing with the mushroom stew. It will contain some beer also. The banh mi doesn't. But I mean that plays into it too. Um, but you know heat levels, uh, seasoning, if the depth of flavor, they all play in and you need to just balance that with the beer of the type of hops, the mm -hmm. balance of malt if it's going to be sweeter or more bitter with the hops. It all plays into just the flavors and complements what you're doing. Yeah, it's a fun way to come out and experience beer month is being able to do this and West Michigan has really been a leader in not just what we're making but what else we're doing in the foodie industry and so Stephanie what kinds of things can people experience during beer month we've talked a little bit about music and we've talked a little bit about food and beer it's a whole celebration of a lot of different things yeah like they were saying like the food has been a huge part of our beer scene and it's really what makes us unique compared to other beer scenes our breweries are definitely elevating our food scene uh, just yeah. last year thrillist named us the best food city in michigan and we believe a lot of that has to do with the creativity of our chefs within our breweries and our restaurants so it's been really cool to see a lot of really great Events. There's going to be brewery tours that you can check out, and all of that's available at beermonthgr.com. Yeah, special dinners. Yeah. Know, sometimes it is just coming and trying something for lunch or dinner, but sometimes it is a special pairing. You sit down, you get the opportunity to learn from some of the makers, the brewers of the beer. Where is a good spot for people to go to learn about it? Because I know you have so many different things planned during the 15th, to the 15th. Yes, absolutely. So beermonthgr.com has the list of all of our events, all of our participating breweries and the cool brew, uh, breweries and restaurants and cool mm -hmm. brews hot eats. Um, so that can all be found at beermonthgr.com. That's fantastic. Okay. And of course, it all kicks off this Saturday. We're so excited for your uh, event that's taking place a week from Friday. And it's going to be great. You had just a successful beer festival not too long ago where you raised a lot of money for Kids Food Basket. So thanks for stopping by. We appreciate Thank you. It. Thank you. And we'll be right back with more 8 West. Don't go away.